Have you ever wondered how we get such precise measurements from the moon's surface? It's not as simple as pointing a telescope and taking a reading. No, it involves a fascinating mix of technology, science, and a little bit of space history. One of the key players in this high-stakes game of cosmic measurements is something called a retro-reflector. Now, this may sound like something straight out of a science fiction novel, but I assure you it's very real and incredibly significant. In the grand scheme of lunar landings, precision is everything. The slightest miscalculation or error can spell disaster for a mission. Retro-reflectors are one of the tools that scientists use to ensure the accuracy of their data. These nifty devices bounce back light or radio waves, allowing us to measure distances and angles with remarkable accuracy. Today, we'll delve into the fascinating world of lunar landings and the technology that makes it all possible. Retro-reflectors. Enter retro-reflectors, the unsung heroes of space exploration. So, what exactly are these small yet mighty devices? Picture a three-dimensional corner of a room where walls meet at 90-degree angles. Now, imagine a ray of light hitting this corner. No matter the angle of entry, the light is always reflected back to its source. This is, in essence, how a retro-reflector works, except it does this with incredibly high precision. Retro-reflectors, also known as corner cubes or cube corners, are optical structures that return light back towards the source, regardless of the light's incoming angle. This ingenious design is made possible by strategically aligning three mutually perpendicular reflective surfaces. When a beam of light enters this structure, it bounces off each surface exactly once before it's returned along its original path. To tap into this potential, NASA instituted the Lunar Retro Reflector Array Program. Now, what's this all about? Well, it's a grand endeavor that aims to revolutionize our understanding of the moon's surface and the precision of our lunar landings. The Lunar Retro Reflector Array, or LRA, is a collection of retro reflectors, which are essentially mirrors designed to reflect light back to its source with minimal scattering. These are strategically placed on the lunar surface. Their job? To bounce back laser beams sent from Earth, by measuring the time it takes for the light to return, scientists can calculate the distance between these two celestial bodies with astounding precision. But the LRA isn't just about measuring distances. Oh no, it's much more than that. It's about understanding the moon's environment, its geology, and even its gravitational field. By studying the way the laser light is reflected, scientists can glean valuable insights into these aspects. This program isn't NASA's first rendezvous with retro reflectors. The Apollo missions, in fact, had left behind similar devices. However, the LRA is different. It's more advanced, more refined. The retro reflectors in this array are more efficient, designed to reflect more light back to Earth, enabling more precise measurements. But why go to all this trouble? Why this quest for precision? Well, the answer lies in the fact that even the tiniest inaccuracies can lead to catastrophic results in space exploration. A slight miscalculation could mean the difference between a successful mission and a failed one. The LRA program is not just about ensuring safer and more accurate lunar landings, it's about paving the way for future lunar missions, for sustained human presence on the moon, and ultimately, for the exploration of other planets. NASA's LRA program is not a solo mission, it's a symphony of international collaboration, with different countries coming together to make lunar exploration more precise than ever. Through partnerships with US-based lunar projects and collaborations with foreign lunar missions, NASA's LRA program is creating a global network that will revolutionize our understanding of the Moon. One such collaboration is with the Italian Space Agency, which is set to deploy retro-reflectors on the Moon as part of their upcoming lunar missions. This is just one example of the many international collaborations that are making the LRA program a global endeavor. Looking ahead, NASA is also planning new missions that will leverage this technology. These future missions will use the LRA to land more accurately on the lunar surface, paving the way for more extensive lunar exploration and potentially even lunar habitation. These collaborations and future missions promise a new era of lunar exploration. So, what does this mean for the future of lunar exploration? Now that's a tantalizing question. As the Lunar Retro Reflector Array, or LRA, becomes a mainstay of NASA's moon missions, we're on the threshold of a new era in lunar exploration. With the pinpoint accuracy afforded by the LRA, landing sites can be chosen with previously unthinkable precision. This could open up new areas of the moon for exploration, areas that were too risky to attempt landing in before. Imagine the wealth of lunar mysteries waiting to be uncovered in these unexplored territories. 
Moreover, the LRA's ability to provide accurate range and velocity data could also revolutionize the way we design and execute lunar missions. This could lead to more efficient use of resources, safer missions, and ultimately, a greater understanding of our celestial neighbor. In short, the LRA's impact on lunar exploration is akin to switching from a paper map to GPS in a cross-country trip. We've come a long way since our first lunar landing. From the early days of space exploration, the challenges and triumphs of lunar landings have been a testament to human ingenuity. The precision required in these missions is astonishing, and that's where retro reflectors come into play. As we continue to reach for the stars, who knows what other technological marvels will develop. If you're eager to learn more about the LRA, we encourage you to dig deeper. NASA's website is a treasure trove of information. There you can find detailed explanations of the technology, updates on the program, and even reports from the missions that have used it. Plus, you'll find a wealth of information about other space exploration initiatives, upcoming missions, and the latest discoveries. But don't stop there. The world of space exploration extends far beyond NASA. There are numerous other organizations, both governmental and private, working on exciting projects. From SpaceX's ambitious plans to colonize Mars to the European Space Agency's mission to study the Sun, there's no shortage of thrilling developments happening right now. If you've enjoyed our journey into the world of lunar retro reflectors, why not share it with others? Knowledge is a gift best shared after all. So go ahead, tell your friends, your family, or your fellow space enthusiasts about what you've learned today. You never know, you might just inspire the next Neil Armstrong or Sally Ride. Stay curious, keep exploring, and until next time, keep looking up.